okay this is follower wonk which is a really great platform to be able to search twitter uh, for relevant data um, now i'm only using the free basic version I mean, today is all about recruiting for free using social media there are some advanced options that you can pay for which gives you much more of the, the rich analytics um, that you might want later down the line but from a recruiting perspective the free version is absolutely fine and what follower wonk does the key I suppose purpose I use it for is to actually search Twitter bios. A Twitter bio is what someone has said about themselves, the, the brief um, bio that they've used to describe who they are or what they do. Now not everyone will put the job title on there or put anything about their work but those who do uh, were certainly able to, to search their bios and then start engaging with them directly. You can see I'm already um, logged in as Recruiting Edge. If I weren't logged in, you just need to log in and then authorize um, the app to be integrated with your, your Twitter account. So I'm going to focus today on search bios. If I click there, I click on more options, which gives me a few more options. So for those of you who are familiar with a keyword search uh, it's exactly what this is um, so we could search a job title or a keyword that you might be interested in seeing in someone's bio but if I use the example of a project manager for the purposes of the tutorial now the reason I've put that in inverted commas is to make sure both of those words come together that they're not spread out across the bio and take uh, the, the words out of context really my location, I'm going to use Birmingham. Okay. Um, now, again, bear in mind when someone is putting in their bio, the likelihood is they're going to put their hometown, uh, village, wherever it is. So if it is in Birmingham, there's lots and lots of possibilities that you could put in to find potential candidates within a commuting distance of Birmingham. So you can put in um, a number of options. Uh, I'm going to give a few options just to for the purposes of this tutorial. So it's space, bar, then space again. Um, let's put in Coventry, space, bar, space again, um, and MIDI, Redditch. Okay. Now, if you wanted, you could search on someone by name. If you knew someone at a particular company, it might be of interest. A URL is where they put in the, the actual an app website. So that might be you know, a, a Facebook account or a, a business um, URL. Typically, I would leave those blank. Again, you've got some options here on minimum followers or minimum following, should I say, minimum followers and minimum tweets. So you can see how active they are. But again, I would just keep it very broad for the purposes of the initial search. Now, limit search to, uh, it automatically goes to all Twitter users. Again, you want to see people right across the board. So maybe not that are not just in your own network. And that's the great thing about Twitter is people don't have to be connected to you to be able to search for them, to engage with them directly. If you wanted though, if it were an urgent position, for instance, and you just wanted to search the people that you are already following or um, were following you or, or both of those combined then you have those options as well so maybe those that are you're engaged with already are going to be quicker in terms of coming back to you and once you're ready I'm just going to click do it now you can see here we've got 95 results You've got some options along the top here, or some information, should I say, on the individuals that have uh, been returned. Influence is really a score in terms of um, how engaged, I suppose, they are with social media, how often they're commenting, liking, etc. Their tweets, how often they're tweeting. So, the first few people are certainly tweeting quite a lot. How many people they're following, how many followers they have. 
and how long they've actually been on Twitter. Now, all of these are sortable, so if I wanted to see those that were tweeting most often, I could sort those so they would come to the very top. For the purposes of today, I hope that's given you a good idea of how to use Follower Wonk to find great candidates. Thank <laughs> you.